Hoover Dam is now one of America's most popular tourist attractions, and nearly a million visitors per year come from around the globe to marvel at its immensity. A two-lane road allows cars to drive right across the dam and right past the Art Deco-style visitor center. Within the visitor center are historical and interpretive exhibits about the construction and impact of the dam. Across from the visitor center is the dedication plaza with sculptures of two winged creatures and a terrazzo floor embedded with a star map depicting a map of the skies at the date of the dedication. Some choose to view the dam from the air on easily available helicopter rides. But many would argue that the best way to see the dam is from the inside. Observe date, 1943, and then they have the grease marker that just marks that hairline fracture. They can take a measurement in between the dot and the center there to see if these forms are moving apart from each other or if they are compressing together. Regular Hoover Dam tours go deep down inside the concrete structure, through the labyrinthine tunnels, and down all the way to the generator rooms at river level, which house the dam's enormous turbine generators. In 2003, construction of the Hoover Dam bypass bridge began, which would become the largest concrete span in the Western Hemisphere. At 1,900 feet across and soaring 900 feet above the river below, the bridge is an engineering feat in itself. In 2010, the Hoover Dam bypass bridge was opened and not only alleviated the long foreseen traffic congestion problem, but provided a whole new way of looking at the dam, allowing visitors to walk out over the canyon and see the dam from above. 